with this Arul Pushpam and welcome to Sidecore Shades. So today I'm going to set up my Sidecore solution and this is my template. So today I'm going to store all the CSS and the images into my uh, Sidecore backend. So let's see. Um, uh, this is my template and uh, so here we can find all the images and assets. So if I go to the asset here I can find my CSS and uh, fonts and images. So let me upload all the CSS and changes, uh, changes into the theme section and go to the Psycho and content editor and then media library and here we can find our themes. My theme name is Stan Blog and yeah. So let's upload all the CSS here and CSS and this and then open and it's uploading okay. then upload media it's uploaded uh, then close and yeah now I can see all the styles and I don't like to use them minified for now let me delete so the next step is we have to upload all the js files go to the script and then upload files browse files js all js open upload media that's done then close and then refresh Okay, now I can see all the script changes. Mm. Yeah, okay, everything is fine now. And the next one is, I think I have to upload the fonts and images. So the font section is here and upload file, browse, and then fonts. Select all the fonts and then upload media. Okay, it's showing some issue. Okay, okay. Okay, could not find the issue. Then close and then refresh. And then fonts and okay. I can find only five fonts. Okay. Uh, that's fine and in case if we face any issues in the future that time we can look into that and the next step is we can upload all the images uh, go to the project folder and let me upload all the files here upload files and then browse then images and then copy up then copy okay upload media The, it's uploaded then cancel um, so I have uploaded all the image files uh, then we can copy this asset folder and paste it into our www root uh, go to the www root go to your site and paste it here I have pasted the files and then okay so now we have uploaded all the CSS and JS and image files. So let's start from the header. Uh, so in the header section, we can find one logo. Um, I think it's not a logo. They didn't use any uh, image files. They directly use the uh, text. So we can follow the same. And the right side, we can find the menu section. So let's create. Um, so in the SXA, we, we have one option that is partial design. Uh, we can design one partial design as a header and there we can add all of our uh, logos and um, menu. So in the presentation and here the partial design. So let's create a new partial design. Partial design name is header. And open this page in experience editor. So the page is loaded and here we can start to design the page so here i can see the three placeholder one is the header and then main and then footer so let's design in the header part and let me add one container 
actually i'm using one site core extension um so i uh, i can easily search my components if you like to use the same extension the extension the name is site core author toolbox and let me select the container and um i have added the container so let's add the column the page structure splitter column now i can see two columns in um uh, uh, now i can see the two columns so let's add a um, logo in the first column and the second column we can add our menu um so for the column and if i see my template here i can see it's the text it's the it's like a link uh, so i just like to add the link section here add component and then link and yeah link and then select Mm, so it's asking the data source um, actually um, in the data source we have two types one is site level and another one is page level uh, we would say one is the global level and another one is the local level um, if you like to uh, create one data source and i like to use the data source only for that particular page so that time we can go with this um, option um, but I have to, uh, I like to create the data source item, but I like to use the same data source in the, the um, same data source into all of the pages. Then we can use this option. I like to use this one for now and then create. Okay, it's asking the folder and link item. First, to create a folder. The folder name is header links. And then, okay. And here I can find my folder, then create, choose the link and load, then click OK. It has been loaded. So let's give the um, link name as stand log, copy and paste it here. And then open in the new browser. And yeah, OK, then go. Okay. And then save the page. Okay, the first section is fine but i could see uh, it's a one row and uh, the first three column is the logo and remaining nine column is the um, navigation so let me use the same click on the component here we can find one icon if you click on the icon yeah here we can change that so i like to use only three in the laptop and mobile what to put the mobile view let's see the mobile view yeah so in the mobile view i can see it's taking off of the page so we can use six and yeah it's fine then okay and then save the page and then we can start to design on our next section so add and here we need to add the navigation um let's use the navigation component and select it's loading the navigation is loaded now and it's coming with the default rendering variant we don't need to worry about this now and let's save the page okay and if you go to the component properties you can find some configuration uh, start page optional is the home page so it will automatically take the home page as the start page and then uh, top level navigation is one and bottom level is two what's the meaning um so if you see my navigation in my template if i hover this uh, menu section i could not find any uh, child um if you like to use the three level of navigation then you can use three but in my case I don't need any um, child navigation so let me use one and uh, navigation filter it is the main navigation so main navigation and then yeah uh, the remaining configuration is fine and uh, so okay then click ok and yeah mm, then save the page so now we have design one um, partial design and the next step is we have to create one page design for our home page so um, let's create a page design home and okay and here we can add all of our our partial design 
let's add a header and metadata and yeah then okay so if you see the metadata this, this is the meta partial design and here we can find some of the basic details like js script and css script in case if you like to add any of the cdn library then we can use this metadata partial design to add that um so let's uh go to our page design and uh, if you click on this page design section here we can directly map our uh, page templates with page designs so if you see this here i can see the home template and i would like to use the home uh, page design for this one and yeah okay and then please go to home page and if you go to this item here we can find one section that is the page design if you like to choose the page design from here you can do we can't do the same mapping for each and every page right so um in case you if you are going to create a blog detail page you have created one template uh, and um in your case you may uh, need to create 100 to 200 uh, blog detail page so that time we can't do the uh, mapping each and every time so only we are using this option to mapping the templates which the um, templates with page design um so uh, so already i have done the mapping for my home template with the home page design so i don't need to choose the page design here it will automatically map uh, so let's see the page now um preview now we can uh, see the page the stand blog is our link and the right side we have added the uh, navigation but uh, in the home node i don't have any pages so it's uh, empty let's add up a few pages page two and then refresh now we can see page one and page two navigation uh, so uh, currently i am showing the page in the preview mode view uh, so how should i open this page as a, a different site so let's configure that if you go to the settings and already we have given our host name go to stand blog and uh, here we can find our host name the host name is standblog.dev mm, go to your host file mm, etc and then host edit and then add your site i have added the site so let's try the site here okay i think one more thing we need to do um in the yes bindings go to yes and go to your site um, right side bindings and then add and then add that and close and close and refresh um go to this database into master and then save then refresh whose name is empty so let me use the same name here and say refresh this page okay still it's not coming now i updated the name as the standblog.dev.local and updated the same in the host name and then i have updated in the uh, binding section and in the host entry so let's test it now already yeah already have refreshed this uh, stand blog dot dev dot local site now we can see our header and our navigation so but uh, the navigation section is not uh, looking good compared to our template so let's see that mm, um go to the partial design open the partial design and uh, if you go this section edit component properties and here we can find some option that is horizontal and vertical so i need in a horizontal way then okay and then save 
so let's refresh the page here yeah now it's looking as expected um so now it looks good and let's see the mobile view now inspect and then if you see the mobile view um here we can find on tab and if you click on the tab then only it's uh, showing our navigation the same way we have to develop in our site so let's um go to the partial design and we have to uh, design that section for that uh, the first section is fine and the um, uh, right side section we have to uh, add something so uh, let's go to the uh, second column um, yeah oh column and say column so in the column we can add one more component that is toggle add the toggle component and the create header toggle header header toggle and then okay now i can see the toggle section so here we can find one plus icon um if you click on this plus icon we can find uh, one more placeholder so here we need to add our navigation mm, let's do the drag and drop navigation yeah now it's coming and save the page icon plus icon okay then go to presentation um actually i'm trying to change this navigation design edit common properties and then horizontal and one and navigation is the main navigation okay then save so let's see the page now yeah now when we click on this page here we can see our navigation but uh, this navigation we have to show only in the mobile view not in desktop view so let's go to the partial design and here here we can find that icon go to the advanced and the display is none and the compact mobile display is in line and then okay then save the page and then refresh yeah now we could not find that uh, toggle option but in case if you open the page in the um, mobile view here we can find that option but uh, the same the mobile view we don't need to see this one so let's go here and click on this section the whole container the call okay navigation and then this option and the compact mobile none and the test office in like okay then save and then refresh yeah now it's uh working as expected